I'm Alfred, but my friends call me Alfie. All I was trying to do was find a nice, quiet place where I could think about stuff without bothering anyone. It was an old library. Don't ask me how I got the key, but let's just say the librarian doesn't have to worry about snow in her driveway this winter. Well, she shouldn't have, but while I was there, I found this old book, and it was how to make an entire world inside your imagination. And before I knew it, I was here. I guess she's gonna have to find someone else to take care of that problem. I'm in some kind of kingdom, and there are other people here too. It looks like this place is some kind of land specially built for people to come and think and talk without bothering anyone. There's a lot of cool people here. I don't think I've met them all, but I'll... Look, they are finished with the new construction. Wow, that's amazing. It looks so wonderful, elegant, artistic. It's, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. What is it? It is the key to the kingdom's defense. It symbolizes the core faith that binds us all as proud citizens of the kingdom of it, me. It is the image which says, together we live and alone we die, unless we remember that if we work together for each other, we will live so much, we won't feel like we can ever die alone. Underneath the artist's perfect recreation of this complicated idea, the idea that together we survive, so none of us can be allowed to remain behind, is the new button for the kingdom's automated defense systems. In the event of an emergency, any citizen of the kingdom can press this button to release the automatic defenses of the castle. Wow, that's actually really touching. But wait a minute, what happens if someone presses it by accident? then they had better be ready to answer some very difficult questions. Remember, just because it requires responsibility that cannot be met by some, does not mean it does not require responsibility that must be handled by some, for the sake of all. Uh, what? I suppose it's only natural you'd not understand it on the first try. It's a complicated idea. But if you think about it this way, it's really quite simple. Now pay attention. There are things we know we are responsible for. We know there are things we are not responsible for. That is a simple enough fact, is it not? That's rhetorical, by the way. Don't interrupt. It takes a long time for me to get on a roll. I can't waste it. Sometimes there are problems that come from a lack of responsibility. Once the problem is here, it's not someone's responsibility anymore. That's living in the past. It's everybody's problem. So if everyone, of everyone, takes responsibility, then the problem goes away. If some take no responsibility, Others can work harder than they should have to and make up the difference. They care about this problem enough to do what they should and add to it also what they can to make it better. Uh, if I drop a basket of cookies and a jar full of jam, then it doesn't matter whose fault it was because if the mess doesn't get cleaned up, We'll get ants in the house, and it'll be everyone's problem. I suppose that's good enough. The way I said it was a bit more dignified. But things like dignity don't matter when it comes to looking out for what does the most good for the most people. At the moment in time, you're fortunate enough to find yourself inside. Hang on a moment. What time is it? 
Oh no, I must be going. I've forgotten something rather important. I can't be without it a moment longer. When my friend gets here, just keep him company until I get back. Friend? What friend? You'll know him when you see him. Just be nice and don't try to convince him of anything. I, I can't spare a moment longer. I truly must be going. Goodbye. Well, what do you think of that? Oh, wow, another monster event. I know what that means. That's right. The kingdom of It Me is under attack. And it's up to us to come together and find a solution that saves the day for everyone. Well, hey, Mr. Announcer. Can, uh, can I lead the call today? I've been practicing it in the mirror, and I've been waiting for a chance to show it off to see what you think about it. Kid, you saved my bacon last week. It would be my honor to let you lead the announcements, but I have just one request, okay? Well, what's that? I need you to realize just how much I care about leading the call. I get judged for my looks and voice sometimes. People assume I'm a shallow guy. And who knows? I might be. But I'm not that way 100%. There's a part of me that runs so deep. It anchors me, and I'm able to stretch out so far because of how strong that is. It might look like I'm floating on the ocean, and really, it's a pool that lets me go anywhere I want, and it's shallow enough for me to stand. I care about bringing people together. It's the one thing I care about more than anything else. Even my awesome, awesome hair. More than that. So kid, if you're going to lead the charge, I need you to look inside yourself and find the strongest and bravest part of yourself that you can. And then next to that, I want you to find the biggest and most confident part too. I'm not asking you to be me. I'm only asking you to be the strongest and most proud version of yourself that you can imagine while you try and experience what it is like for me when I leave the charge for you. Well, that's a lot to try to live up to. And if I'm thinking that right now, it's probably true you expect a lot of things from yourself like that all the time. I don't think it's a bad thing to expect things from ourselves. If we expect good things from the things we do, then I think that's a good thing too. I'll do it. I'm not very good at being confident or proud or strong. But the one advantage of being really terrible at a lot of things is I'm really good at trying things over and over until I get them right. So I'll give it a try, and if I don't get it right, I'll just find a different way to try it next time. All right, everybody, let's come together, and we're gonna do it this time. We're gonna, we're gonna fight this monster. So everybody, everybody come on. Let's do it, it me too, I'm here. All right, how was that? I'd better keep an eye on you, kid. If I'm not careful, you'll be putting me out of a job.
Oh, gosh. That guy is enormous. What do you even feed a guy like that? Well, that must be the friend. I'm supposed to keep him busy, but it looks like he's waiting there quietly all on his own. Maybe I don't have to do anything. Hey, kid. Things are about to get scary. Looks like we need those new castle defenses. The kingdom needs you to push that button. Hurry. I, I gotta go. The next clips are coming in five seconds. Uh, uh, wait a minute. What about that guy? Excuse me, uh, sir. I need to get past you so I can press that button. It's really important. Could you step a little bit to the side so I can get by? I do not know you. I'm here because I was asked to stand guard over this button. And now you so suspiciously want to be pressing it. It looks like I got here just in time. <clears throat> what? I'm sorry, we, we don't have time for all that. What about the kingdom? It's in danger. I don't believe ya. Yeah. Oh, but the button, the button. I don't believe ya. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I'll be right back. Thanks for stopping by. This looks like a job I can help with. Hey, it's super cool you came here to help out with the kingdom. But the fighting isn't in here, it's outside. We've got a monster on the way right now. You gotta let the kid press that button. Everything will be destroyed if he doesn't. Ah, don't believe ya! Yeah. What the devil's the matter with you, y you big metalhead? Can't you see we're all clearly in danger? Why won't you listen to everyone else? Th there's more of us than there are of you. Doesn't matter. I don't know you. I trust the person who brought me here. Yeah. The, the person who brought you here. That can't possibly matter as much as the group of us. Yeah. You pretty much run the place. And everyone agrees for you to step aside, even if you don't want to. Yeah. Ah, this is pointless. There's no getting through to you if it doesn't work, no matter how hard I insult you. Fine, be that way. I'm going to go over here and pretend you don't exist. And next clips. If you can buy me a little time, I can think of a plan to get that button somehow. You aren't planning to pick a fight with me, are you? I'll wipe the floor with you. You must be crazy or something. I'm, I'm not crazy. And I'll tell you something else. I'm really scared right now. And I don't know how to fight. I don't know how to use any of these things. And even if I try, there's a good chance I'll just end up hurting myself worse than anything I do to you. But I don't know what else to do. But I do know you're right about one thing. I don't want to pick a fight with you. Because you know I'd wipe the floor with you! Well, that, that part wouldn't be very fun. But mostly because I don't want to pick a fight with anyone. I, I'm like everyone else. I've got lines I, I can't yeah. cross. Even if I know the person thinks they're trying to do the right thing. But none of that gets fixed by fighting about it. When the fighting is over, and the answer is the goal, instead of where things start to get better for everyone, that's what we need. So I'm not gonna tell you what to do anymore. If I was you, I think I would make a lot of the same conclusions you did. You're right, we don't know each other. I need to remember that means more than I don't know you. It means you don't know me either. And I guess if the first thing a person does when they meet you is run up and tell you to go against the things you think you need to be doing, well, I wouldn't trust that person either. So 
so I'm not going to tell you anything. <laughs> but, but I have to ask, look around for a second at all, all the people's faces and see how scared and worried they are. So think about that when you, you think about how they act towards you. And look at me. Right now, you're the one with the power. We, we can't stop you. So I can't ignore that I need you to be okay with things. If anything is ever going to get done. So you have the power. Look at the kingdom. Or look at my eyes. And tell me you still don't think it's a good idea to let me push that button. And you have my word that I'll stand here until it's too late for anyone to do anything. Because I would have already tried everything I could think of. I won't even rub it in. At least I'll try not to rub it in. We all get killed because I couldn't press a button. I do have to say, I'll be pretty mad about that. <laughs> say, that's pretty funny. I would be mad if that happened to me. And when you put it that way, well, yeah, you shared all that stuff about how worried you are. I'm worried. I can see where you're coming from, and you're looking at me. It got easier to learn about what kind of person you are. Well, I'm, I'm even more impressed now that you were going to try and fight me. L look at all those useless weapons over there. W weapons like that can't get through my armor. You have asked me what I thought and respected my potential because my thoughts get to be mine too and you were fair but well, your eyes are not the eyes of a liar i don't trust you completely yet but but i do believe you enough to press that big old button for you <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter who presses it i guess so long as someone does to do it oops the button uh, there you go. Got it. Sorry about that statue thing. It looked weird anyways. So what's the button do? Finally, you did it. You pressed the button. Finally, you did it. You pressed the button. I wasn't done yet. <laughs> I'm finished. It's the spoils of war from our last part. Yes, we took the parts of the monster that we defeated and used it to build the Empathy Deployment System into the Kingdom Defense. It's a powerful weapon that almost always improves the situation. And now it's been released. Here we go. Time to tie it all together. Roll the last clips. When someone doesn't believe us, we have to remember they might not have a reason to yet. We need to look at those people the way we look at ourselves when we're meeting them. It's confusing. Things aren't fully explored. We need to talk, figure out what we're saying before we can figure out what that means. And empathy, yes. The desire to understand, yes. The willingness to treat a person the way you want them to treat you, with no guarantee that it will come back to you, is the best way to make sure that it does come back to you. The only thing you lose is knowing it will work before you try. We did it. The kingdom is saved. Until next time, when the kingdom is under threat, so long, everybody. I'm back. I forgot my camera. And I couldn't wait another moment so that I could perfectly capture the beauty of that wonderful wonderful statue. I was so impressed by how beautiful it was and how deeply it touched the core of who I am in a way that made me see all of the best parts of myself clearly. That I'm embarrassed to say other than how wonderful it made me feel. I don't remember exactly what it looked like because someone else was showing it to me and I didn't fully understand it yet. Well, about that, it, it kind of got smashed. You were left unsupervised for less than 20 minutes, and the statue gets destroyed. Well, don't blame me. It was an accident during the monster attack. And, and it wasn't me. It was your friend over there. I told you to keep him busy. 
Well, at least the memory of the statue will live on in me, because I remember it so perfectly. You could ask me about it, but you'll have to take my word for it when I tell you what it looked like. No, I don't think I will. Oh, okay. Well, what about the rest of you? Don't it? believe you! Ha! <laughs> nope, not really. Are, are you sure? It, it's really simple and so beautiful. I, I could have finished describing it already by now. No, and stop asking. You're embarrassing yourself. Sometimes you need to listen to the group because everyone will make fun of you if you don't. That's what's really important. I don't think that's right. But hey, it's fine if you don't if I don't share. I'm I'm happy I offered. And it wouldn't really be me giving you something if I did it after you said you didn't want it. I don't know what that would be. You would be the announcer. And no one wants that. Now end the episode. It was a farce. Boo! Boo! I can't even tell you to roll the credits. There are no credits. There's no production value here. Hey, what's going on? The, what the devil? This man is the devil, you see. Look, he's making my screen smaller just because I'm criticizing him. Hey, no, but that's not the worst of it. Stop it. He writes the dialogue. Ah, he's making me criticize him just to have an excuse to punish me. What sort of cruel sadist would do such a thing? He's putting the literal words in my mouth without giving me a chance to tell you what I really think as some sort of elaborate ruse that ends with the original goal of punish me somehow for all of it. No! I'll see you next time.